Don't pay for no vendor. Let me go ahead and tell y'all that. I don't know why people got y'all paying for vendors when there's so many vendors out there for free. Literally, I've never paid for a vendor a day in my life. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> It's your favorite YouTuber, Juicy Money, aka the Real Prince YouTube. I'm back at it again with another thank you YouTube video. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that all you guys want to know. Like, I have been wanting to do a video like this for a long time. I don't know, I've just been very, very, very busy with a lot of things. But today is the day I'm gonna give y'all the tea, the real tea, not like the the fake stuff that I've been seeing on YouTube, people haven't even really been spilling the tea. Like, I'm going to tell y'all the tea because I like to see my black girls winning. Like, I feel like everybody should be winning, but just, you know, black empowerment is just something. It hits different, okay? If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can be a part of the famous Juicy Gang. If you're a tenor, welcome back to my video. I love you guys so much. So if y'all trying to be connected and stay connected, make sure y'all follow my socials. Period. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you need a business. Like, don't be looking for no vendors if you don't even got your logo name, you don't got your page set up. Don't even do it because it will stress you out. Having a business will cause, it's a serious thing like um, stress, stress disorder, all that. Literally, you get stressed, like stressed, okay? I, it happens to me so many times where I just go through like a mental breakdown because it's just like I'm going through all this stuff. I got all this stuff going on and sometimes you feel lost, but don't worry. It's okay because I got y'all. I'm not really here to talk about how to start a business. I made a video about that of how to start a business. If you want more um, like entrepreneur videos, just comment down below and I got y'all because I am about to start my second boutique. I know y'all like denim. Where it's at, but um, I got a lot of stuff going on. But I got y'all. Don't look for vendors first, and you don't even got your stuff together. You know what I'm saying? That's just common sense. Don't pay for no vendor. Let me go ahead and tell y'all that. I don't know why people got y'all paying for vendors when there's so many vendors out there for free. Literally, I've never paid for a vendor a day in my life. Like that's crazy. Looks like it could be what's on there, and then you get it, and it's, it's not on there. People could be scamming. A whole bunch of reasons you should never pay for a vendor. You need two apps. Alibaba and WhatsApp. Alibaba is a China wholesale manufacturer app. They have everything. Like, all these purses, anything you see on these boutiques, you can find it on here. I'm promise. Now, the vendors that I'm going to have down below are like, um, lip gloss purses i don't think i did lashes but it'll be a whole bunch of everything just make sure y'all look down there below if you didn't know i sell first life my vendors will be down there what i used um in my previous of business years i guess whatsapp is how you connect with your vendors this is how you talk to your vendors this is how you buy everything like that um alibaba has a chat i do not personally use it because i just feel like i can't really connect with them how i connect on whatsapp even though whatsapp um my mom says it takes my gigabytes or something like that even though i thought i had unlimited but whatever it might take up some storage but it's really needed like i feel like you need that okay once you get those apps some things that you can search is purses glasses lashes nike track suits i also will be giving some whatsapps the numbers to the actual whatsapps because let me go ahead and tell y'all vendors are really hard to find like i'm not even about to come up here and give y'all some vendors list and i give y'all the numbers to them so i i will have some whatsapp numbers of the vendors you know actually the vendors probably not all of them but i'll find some for y'all and have the numbers for y'all and all you gotta do is you got the whatsapp app you just hit them up like hey this is what i want all the vendors i did try to find for y'all are seven seven to fifteen days two weeks so basically let me kind of let me try to explain this to y'all y'all gonna go on the app whatever okay say you want to sell lashes you're gonna search lashes you see a vendor that you like don't ever settle for one vendor you know what i'm saying always look for multiple vendors because it's always gonna be something wrong you want to have a perfect vendor say you like the lashes of one vendor but they're 30 days never get a 30 day vendor because say you run out of inventory and you need inventory in seven days a package went wrong and you need it you know what i'm saying always do seven to 14 days so 
Alibaba is gonna have this thing where it says send inquiry. You're gonna send an inquiry and it's gonna send a message to them. And usually China people are real good with texting you back because they, they love money just like I love money. We love money, they love it. They're gonna text you back because you know you're where how they make their money. When they text you back, don't ask them um can I see pictures? Don't ask them about none of that, don't ask them about nothing. Ask them how long it's shipping. They're gonna be like, um, it depends on how much, da, 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 how much you want. Um, you tell them how much you want, and boom. If they say 30 days, all these other numbers, you you cancel, you move on to the next. And it's simple, like you can't do 30 days. I feel like businesses who have things on hand are the best businesses, and that's my problem. I do not keep things on hand because when I do keep things on hand, they sell out or um different sizes you know when I first started I bought everything on hand and I just didn't like the way my product was moving I didn't like it I like the way it's moving when people order and I get it and then my factory is good with sending my stuff in like three days so I don't gotta worry too much you know what I'm saying once you like what they say okay keep moving forward ask them for their whatsapp sometimes they say they don't have a whatsapp if they don't have a whatsapp I do not keep moving forward with them with business because that's how i connect i'm not used to connecting all about i'm not going to settle for something i'm not used to so yeah most china people have whatsapp so once you got that then you you good you straight like you texting them i'm telling y'all don't think you about to just get out there and find a vendor and everything gonna be sweet it's gonna take time don't rush it you gotta write down stuff write down what you're looking for there is people who have vendors list there is people who sell wholesale things like a lot of people come to me like denim um can you wholesale this can you do this can you do this i have not really gotten to that a reason i have not gotten to that is because i'm not really that big yet i only have like ak um followers i have a big like I have uh, a lot of people have bought for me. I don't know how I feel about selling my shoes. Like I don't, I just don't know about wholesale. I know you can make a lot of bread. I know people do sell their vendors, um, and they make a lot of bread. I know a lot of people do um, with the wholesale where they send it to you and stuff like that. Like how the Chinese people are, and you make a whole bunch of bread. But I just haven't really gotten to that. I just go to Alibi, and that's how I started. It was Alibi, literally. That's how I found my vendors. They, it don't matter how many pictures they send you, always do samples. And when I say samples, don't ask them, like, what's your sample price? Just buy one thing, and you see how it is. And, yeah, that's, don't ever buy hella shit, and then it's wrong or it's just not right you know what i'm saying make sure you buy one thing and you test it and or say this thing i did before it was two different vendors of first slides and i bought some slides from them and i bought some slides from them and one vendor was terrible like it was it was horrible this the, the slide was like thin like walmart it was bad and then the other one was perfect and i loved her so that's why you always got to test things out don't settle for less you know take your time write things down alibi has all the same vendors everybody do the same thing so don't worry if one person ain't got it because somebody got it for cheaper or higher sometimes never go for the cheapest thing even though all of those products are pretty cheap on alibi because it's a wholesale you know what I'm saying? And you're going to be surprised if you've never been on there and you go in there. You're going to see shit that you bought from people for, like, cheap. But don't be mad because that's how it works. That's how that's how you're going to, you know, start your business. You never sell something for the price that you pay for. That's just how business works. Like, duh. If you got any questions, feel free to, like, comment. Like, comment. Don't DM me. I mean, you can DM me, but I don't really check my DMs, y'all. I know I, I y'all be texting me only way that i'll probably like see something people spam my comments y'all like literally i'll be like what the fuck is i wake up like damn that i get exposed like what's going on that's really the only way i see things comment down below and i'll get back to y'all because um I, like i said i want everybody to be successful make sure y'all go in the description and go to them vendors if there's um something you need like i um always tell my friends i tell people i don't like giving handouts because i was never i never got that handout you know what i'm saying i never got that um i did everything on my own with my business i never asked nobody for nothing i did it all on my own i looked for my own vendors with youtube i didn't ask for a handout i've never collaborated with anybody um i never used anybody for their views so 
you know, don't be that don't be that person. But I am willing to help somebody. So if you're looking for vendors that I just didn't list, you know, comment down below and I can try to help you. I'm not gonna like be like, you know, but I'm there for you and I can help because trust me, I got I got some vendors, y'all. And I don't use them because that's just not what I sell. But if you got it, I'm the plug right here. I'm not that type of person that's like, bro, I ain't giving you my stuff. Literally, like, if you my friend and you want to start a business, I've literally sent um a couple of friends my vendors, some vendors list that I got. Because um, it's just the way it works. You know, you're going to find out either way it goes. That's how, how it works. A lot of people paying for these expensive vendors. And I'm like, girl, we in 20, we almost in 2021. But I love you guys so much. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on this video and all of my videos. I love y'all. I really hope that I can help y'all. I hope that you can start your business and be successful. Don't forget to only look for them 7 to 14 day vendors, baby. Because we ain't got time to be waiting 30 days. Like, we got, we got money to make and things to sell. Period. Make sure you follow all of my socials. And yeah, I love y'all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Juicy Game. Oh, oh, oh.